Okay, let's talk about Logic Pro and non-native Apple Silicon plugins. Like RX8, I have issues with that. Uh, it doesn't load. And if you have projects with that plugin inside or those plugins, it will not open. So as you can see here, you get the error message and then you can't do anything. You can't deactivate or save or whatever. So Logic does close. So what you should do is right click on Logic Pro and you get this window here with get info and then open using Rosetta. So we're gonna do that. Now Logic will run in Intel Rosetta mode. And when you open up this project again, now it will load quite fine. So as you can see now I have here my RX plugins. And when I open those up for each channel, Erinnert man sich da eigentlich noch an Das war so mein Schlüssel. So all works quite well. I have this plugin not installed. All works quite well. Uh, performance is all right, I think. Uh, the CPU performance is a little bit more than it would run in Apple Silicon mode. Uh, but it's all right. It should work fine for smaller projects if you have like a 100 track music edit or music mix with lots of reverb and stuff like that it might run into issues sooner than when it runs in native apple silicon mode and in my experience as long as the system runs fine on <laughs> in my case logic runs really smooth and stable no art crashes or something it should work fine. So there you go. I also have a video up where I show how you can do that with Final Cut 10 because there is no native Rosetta mode there, so to speak. You have to use terminal and stuff like that. I will have a link to that video in the description as well. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.